Hey everyone, I'm Jesse and welcome to Because Whatever. Uh, this is a little vlog thing I've been meaning to do for a while now. Um, I may or may not include my weekly, weekly uh, comic calls in these. I haven't decided yet. I will be doing that in this one though. And talking about uh, just, you know, whatever in pop culture kind of uh, hobbies and, you know, stuff like that. Um, yeah, uh, I kept trying to think of a, a good name for this and everything I came up with was taken already. So uh, I came up with this and uh, it was not taken because it's pretty dumb. Anyways, it <laughs> doesn't matter. It's just a stupid title. Um, so, oh, first I want to show off. Uh, I, haven't sh I, I have uh, pictures of uh, myself wearing this shirt on Instagram and Twitter, but I have not put it in a video yet. Uh, this is uh, the latest uh, Drunken Peasants uh, t-shirt I got. Uh, DP Manatees Macaroni and Cheese. Individuals love our situation. Yeah, uh, if you're not a Peasants fan, you have no idea what that means. Uh, you're just confused and uh, that's fine. But I love this shirt. Awesome. Uh, my, my, my third shirt from them. Um, I have a Chris Raygun shirt in the mail too. Can't wait to get that. Anyways, um, I'm moving all around here. Steady. Uh, yeah, so I will hopefully be getting uh, another webcam in the next little while when a good one goes on sale because uh, I don't really want to keep using this eyesight thing. Um, anyways, so first thing I want to ramble about is... Oh, it disappeared. Here we go. Uh, oops, I went on the wrong page. <laughs> Just a second. Here we go. Uh, Baby Metal with Rob Halford at the APMAs, the Alternative um, Press Music Awards uh, from just a couple days ago. This was amazing. I loved this so much. Uh, so many Baby Metal fans, including myself, have been waiting for something like this to happen where they would uh, perform on stage uh, with a uh, you know, a, 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 a metal god, metal legend, uh, and it finally happened. Rob Halford, Judas Priest. Um, this, yeah, you see the uh, the title there. I'm going to leave the link in the, the description below. Check this out. Um, uh, first, uh, they just do um, an awesome performance of karate. Um, excellent performance. And then we cut to... Somewhere in the middle here. <laughs> okay, so that's the end. Um, and then they do this fun little animation with uh, the fox god meeting the metal god. A new legend is born. And just uh, skip ahead here. And here comes Rob Halford. And uh, Cami Band did an amazing job uh, playing Painkiller. They do Painkiller first and then Breaking the Law. Uh, just wow, like I've already watched this a few times. I've downloaded it uh, using uh, Keep Vid. Um, yeah, this is just fantastic. Sue Metal and Rob Halford together, and then, uh, and then they do Breaking the Law with uh, Moa Metal and Yui Metal on guitar. I don't know how much they were actually playing. It looks like just like a little bit of rhythm, uh, but this was extremely cool as well. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just love this. Uh, this is my favorite video of the week for sure. Uh, yeah, so go check it out if you have not already. Um, so moving on, um, all right, I'll just go back to me here. Uh, comics. Um, I haven't done a haul for a while, so I don't know if this is everything that I've not shown, um, if it isn't, if it isn't, if it isn't, it isn't, whatever, um, doesn't really matter. Um, certainly it's most of it. Excuse me. So from the past, I don't know, two or three weeks, whatever. Uh, Punisher 3, I have not read this yet, which is kind of surprising because I like the first two. Um, Action Comics uh, 959, I don't think I read this one yet. I'm probably not going to continue this. Um, I did enjoy what I read, but I have to be really, really hard on these DC books because I don't want a huge pull list anymore. And these are coming out every two weeks, so I've got to be really, really picky. Uh, Civil War II, round three. I didn't read this yet. Pretty cool cover, though. I like those. Um, Silk, 
10. I did not read that yet either. <laughs> uh, Prometheus, Life and Death, 2 of 4. Uh, I did not read this yet either. <laughs> I did read some. Uh, Gwenpool, uh, number 4. Uh, this is another one I got to get on. I'll probably read this today because uh, I really like that series. Oh, and I, yeah, and I got the uh, uh, one of the variants too. There, pretty cool, pretty funny. Because it was it was it was fairly cheap, so I grabbed that too. Uh, Justice League number one. I did read this. Eh, I'm trying to get the glare out of there. Uh, yeah, I'm not continuing with this. I mean, it was okay, but okay is not going to cut it. Uh, Hal Jordan and the Green Lanterns, or Green Lantern Corps, sorry. Um, I read this, is, I guess it's you know pretty much meant to be a teaser, and that's pretty much how it reads, um, but it's a good teaser. Um, I will buy the next one, and then I'll decide from there if I'm going to keep going with it or not. Uh, Green Lanterns 2. This is really good. Uh, I got the third one, which I'll, I've got over there, this came out today, and I just read the third one. I really like it. Uh, that's on my pull. Um, green. Oh, that's the first issue. Green Lanterns. That's a winner. Um, it's got Atrocitus, Bleased. I really like the Red Lanterns. Um, I like Simon Baz, and um, um, I'm drawing a blank on the girl's name because <laughs> she's brand new. Anyway, um, I like both of them, um, and I'm a big Red Lanterns fan too. Uh, Strayer number five. I really like this series. I don't know how long this is going to go for. If this is going to be like, you know, uh, ongoing um, for you know like a year or whatever. Um, but uh, I think issue five. I think this is the end of the first arc. I can't remember now how it ended exactly. Um, I think it says at the end if it was the end or not for now. Um, but I really like Strayer. I like it very much. Detective Comics nine thirty six. Um, this is also, uh, I just added this to my pull. Um, this is the one Batman book that I'm going to be getting. Uh, the regular Batman uh, title didn't really do it for me. Not enough. Uh, I got the first issue and I'm just stopping there. Uh, I think Detective is much better. Uh, Gem and the Holograms, issue 16. This is the end of the Dark Gem arc. <sighs> and I'm sorry to say I dropped this. Um, uh, it really went downhill from the first arc. The first arc I thought was really good. I liked it a lot. And then the second one was okay here and there. And it's, I don't know. It, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, there's not really much to say about the Dark Gem arc. Um, I didn't really, didn't really like it very much. Um, Wonder Woman issue one. Yeah. Um, this was good. It didn't really pull me in though, um, so I'm not going to be. I have the I have the second issue too. Oh, right here, here it is. <laughs> I didn't read this yet, so I guess it's possible my mind could be changed, um, but I doubt it. Well, we'll we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to be uh, continuing with that. So, Green Lanterns issue three. Uh, again, I just read this, loved it, loved it. Um, um, Street Fighter Legends Kami. I just grabbed this. I mean, I like the cover. It works pretty cool inside. I like Street Fighter. Eh, see, why not? Uh, I Hate Fairyland, both covers. Issue, what is it, seven? Seven. And then there's the other one. So, pretty small uh, pull for the week, which is fine. I'm totally fine with that. Oh, and if you haven't checked out my awesome wife's first powerlifting competition, uh, please go check it out. It's uh, right up, I'm going to leave a link right up here, uh, or up here, whatever corner it shows up in. Uh, this is it right here. Yeah, go check that out. Awesome. Very proud of her. Uh, I finally saw uh, Batman vs. Superman Ultimate Edition. Uh, I did not see it in theaters. Um, my wife and I watched it. Uh, I got it on iTunes because it's cheaper. And it took us, I think, three days to watch the whole thing. Uh, my wife found it especially painful. <laughs> but, um, I thought it, I liked parts of it. Um, I haven't watched the theatrical cut yet. I do intend to watch that at some point just to compare the two. Uh, apparently, the ultimate edition is at least tells uh, more a more uh, coherent story, makes a little bit more sense. Um, 
Ben Affleck, eh, he was okay, I guess. Uh, but, I mean, his Batman was just, just mostly an asshole for the whole movie. <laughs> Doesn't want to listen to anybody. Superman barely said a word. Um, Gal Gadot is Wonder Woman. Um, I think she played the role okay, but she's too small. She's way too small. Uh, she does not look like Wonder Woman. She does not have the body. She's not big enough. Um, bad choice. Uh, she, they should have picked somebody else. Um, and what else? Oh, the introduction of the other members of the Justice League on that on the on the Flash Drive. Let's inter introduce these characters on the Flash Drive. Uh, that was that was pretty, the Aquaman one was really awful. Flash was. Eh. When he dreams, Batman dreams about the Flash. Like, uh, yeah, and the Cyborg one. Yeah, um, I don't know. Um, I will probably watch it again. I mean, I didn't hate it. Um, I probably liked it a little bit more than I thought I would. But, eh, I don't really have anything more to say about it right now, I guess. And we saw uh, Civil War on... Canada Day, July 1st, uh, finally. Um, I really liked it, um, although eh, I still think Winter Soldier is the best of the Captain America movies, um, although I think Spider-Man in this is the best on-screen Spider-Man um, we've seen yet. Um, I thought that was just, that's the Spidey I've been waiting to see in, in a movie. Um, that was def Yeah, I think that was definitely the highlight for me. Um, something that was really disappointing for me um, was Crossbones getting killed off so quickly because um, I love Crossbones and I forget the actress name but I, th I thought he was doing a pretty good job of um, you know turning into Crossbones playing the character so I was really looking forward to you know at least a couple of badass fights with him and he just he dies so quickly in, in, in early on in the movie I, that was very disappointing um, but overall, I thought it was a good movie. I liked it. And since the lighting's not too bad in here, uh, I guess my new pops will look... Not yet? Okay, that looks pretty decent. So this is the Harley Quinn uh, pop vinyl from uh, the new Suicide Squad movie. Pretty cool. I really like this one. Yeah, well, it's a little hard for me to get used to uh, this camera because it's all, like, you know, opposite. <laughs> and I picked up Spider-Gwen! Yay! This way, this way. It's all reversed, this camera, so it's confusing for me. I don't usually use this one. <laughs> Anyways, awesome. And that's about it. Uh, I'm going to get ready to go uh, bouldering, because um, I haven't gone for a couple of days, or three days, or whatever. Anyways, uh, I'm off to go climbing. Uh, so uh, thank you very much for watching. As always, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, see ya.